We do turn now to a GMA health alert on hair loss. A new report indicating that some natural supplements may be beneficial in growing back your hair. ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton joins us from Miami this morning with more on that. So, Dr. Jen, good morning to you. Uh, break this report down for us. Yeah, so with uh, men and women uh, suffer with thinning hair, there's some estimates that over the age of 40, half of women have hair issues on um, one of them. So this study just published in JAMA Dermatology really looked at safety and efficacy of a lot of the popular hair supplements. We're gonna put up the brand names for you because they were listed in the study. Basically, Viviscal, Nurkin, Nutrafol, Lambdafil, and Pantogar overall were found to be effective and pretty much safe, very mild side effects uh, to no side effects. And in terms of the natural supplements, omegas, capsaicin, pumpkin seed oil, all found to have some benefit. And so Dr. Jed, we actually have some of these right here. And just to clarify, you're not supposed to take a bunch of them and try them out at once, right? <laughs> you're supposed to get an idea of which ones work the best for you. And how do you do that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, with this is something, these are all out there, they're widely available. And I think the bottom line here is that you have to get at, pardon the pun, the root cause of your hair loss because it's not one size fits all. But if you look at how these supplements, you know, produced the results that they did according to this compilation of studies, um, they varied. You know, things like zinc were found, for example, to increase the thickness and density, uh, apples, nutrients pharmaceuticals, increased density and formation, and then the very popular Viviscal, increased hair count and decreased shedding. I want to emphasize, you know, these results can vary. They can be mild, they can be more significant, but for people suffering with significant hair loss issues, usually a visit to a dermatologist is step one. And, and so aside from supplements, what else can people do to improve the health of their hair? Well, I think this is really important because it's not just about diet and nutritional supplements, but I think the key thing here is evaluate your particular situation. For me, diet was a big contributing factor, but then resting your hair from styling or coloring damage, and my favorite, those clip-on ponies and wigs can be really, really helpful. Dr. Jan, I don't have any experience with those, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, this is very helpful information. We have much more here you about bet. hair loss supplements on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. You can get there directly by pointing your cell phone right there at the QR code on the screen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.